let's just get in the elevator. What? No. Okay. No, I understand. No. All right. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, I'm so happy to be home. Oh, traffic is horrible. Some guy almost sideswiped me on the freeway. Are you listening to me? Yeah, I'm listening to you. Well, in case you didn't catch it, that woman was suppressing some anger. And that's definitely a ladylike habit that you need to stop. We're going to explain why, because medical research actually shows if you always refuse to show your feelings or your anger, it actually can take a toll on your body. And scientists have actually given a name to people who always suppress their emotions. It's called a distressed personality. And let me explain why, because if you're never expressing your emotions and you're suppressing them over and over again, your actually pituitary gland will send signals to your adrenal glands just above your kidneys, and your adrenal glands will over time secrete more and more cortisol. Well, why does that matter? Cortisol is a chronic stress hormone. It virtually affects every organ system in our body, your nervous system. It can actually even decrease the functioning of your immune system, more likely to get sick. But that's not all. The toll it can take on your body in your heart and cardiovascular system in and of itself is worthy of being concerned. Over time, elevated cortisol can cause your blood pressure to skyrocket. And all these things, when combined, may even cause you to have a premature death. Now, here's the key. You want to keep the peace. But if you constantly suppress your emotions and never, ever, ever express frustration, you're doing your body harm. Here's the irony though, if you're constantly exploding with anger, you're constantly angry and showing hatred, that can actually decrease your lifespan too. So what we're talking about here is expressing your emotion in a constructive way. And I'm curious, guys in our digital audience, uh, what are your thoughts on this? Well, actually, that's one of the main reasons men think women are crazy because they suppress their anger so long, it just unleashes itself out of nowhere. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you got to get that conversation going. If something's really upsetting you, have a calm conversation at once because it's got to come out sooner or later and probably at an inappropriate time. Like, he's going to make you an omelet and you're going to be like, you know, I like sunny side up, and then it's a mess. <laughs> exactly. We all know when you say nothing's wrong, everything's wrong. So why not talk it over, let us know what's going on, because we don't want to deal with She-Hulk later. Like, we don't want to see that. Filing it away till later is not a good way to go. Yeah. Because then it's just you file one thing, and then you file another thing, and then it comes to a head, and then you can't remember what you were angry about in the first place, and it just... just goes and you get the fair, is, it, is it fair to say it's a delicate balancing act? I mean, in yes. the end, yeah, yeah. you don't want to leash out every time or lash out every time mm -hmm. something upsets you, but if you constantly hold it in, you may explode. Goodness. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you ever turn into the She Hulk? <laughs> Never. Lisa, smash! <laughs> 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 Good suppressor. <laughs>